Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's uh, TA, let's do a little uh, recap of the actual market situation comparing the longs, shorts and the hash rate of Bitcoin quickly because we are coming into a very interesting point uh, right now here in the Bitcoin price and therefore I first want to check the hash rate and also the longs versus shorts because I'm still Still not in a trade I'm waiting here to open a big long or a short position based on where we're gonna break out here in the next couple of hours so before we start keep in mind that currently we still have a lot of longs compared to shorts so that means in case of a big drop here we would have a big waterfall because all these longs here would get liquidated or stopped out and this could cause a big fall towards 8k even down to 6500 there is where the 200 daily moving average and the 20 weekly moving average is lining up and 6500 is the level where the 0.618 fib line is lining up based on the move that we have seen from 3,800 up to $10,400, where we currently had our local top. And also, if you have a look here on the hash rate of Bitcoin, I was quite bearish once we dropped down here in the hash rate, but currently you can see that we recovered perfectly back up here and this looks really bullish to me especially for the longer time frame so it is possible that maybe for the moment we are not seeing this miners capitulation that everyone is waiting for but maybe we will never see it or we already saw it with the last couple of dumps that we had already so now is the big question are we gonna see a big miners capitulation still so a big crash maybe also in the stock market or not and that's why it is very important that you're ready for all scenarios but of course if you want to trade it with a long or a short you are have to wait for a breakout here and also for confirmation so therefore currently i'm very fixed here on the chart all the time checking the price because currently we are really in a very interesting situation where we're gonna see a big move to the upside or a possible fall here at least for the lower time frames for the higher time frames i'm still very bullish especially watching the higher time frames charts but for the lower time frames i still think there is a high chance that we could see a big drop here also depending what the stock market is doing of course but also here on bitcoin it is possible that we're gonna see a potential breakdown maybe for the higher time frames it will not be that significant because for the higher time frames we are very bullish and the target is way above our currently all-time high of 20,000. but i still think that we could see prices below 9k again before we definitely gonna break out here to the upside and therefore we all also gonna watch later the higher time frames but let's start right now with the one hour because also here in the lower time frames I see some very interesting signs that could indicate that we're gonna see a big move very soon so here in the one hour we are not just consolidating here also the RSI is right now right at the 50 and also stochastic is jumping up and down from overbought to oversold so currently we are in this wedge here and I'm expecting here a breakout to the upside or to the downside I'm more leaning into a breakout to the upside to potentially test here the 200 moving average in the one hour at $9,600 and possibly also have another confirmation that the previous support line this green line is now acting as a resistance but in case of a breakout to the downside we would break here significant supports and I think this could lead into a bigger sell-off here in case that we also taking out this low down here that we have currently at around $9,090 so I'm waiting here for the next move and if we go over to the Bollinger Band also here you can see that we are still trading in the lower part and I think there is a very high chance that we go down again to test here this 9390 support which is also the support of this wedge that we are currently right now and if we're gonna break it to the downside I think we could see here a test of 9300 and a possible drop here that could take us again towards 9k and possibly even lower especially if we're gonna take out this low that we had here 
and if we go over to the four hour time frame this is gonna be very interesting here to see what will happen because currently you see that the 20 moving average is perfectly lining up here with our resistance line in this wedge so we're gonna see a breakout here pretty soon to the upside if we can break here the 20 moving average but in case that this moving average is still giving us heavy resistance we're gonna see a big fall here to the downside because keep in mind that here we have the stochastic currently overbought and is now shifted to the downside and the RSI is still below the 50 so we didn't manage to break above the 50 in the RSI and also not above here the main resistance only if we are able to break through here this 9407 resistance I think we could be good to go to test here 9600 again and this is now what is concerning me a bit that if we're gonna fail here to break this moving average that we're gonna see here a major waterfall to the downside here in the four hour it is still looking bearish and also if you go over to the four hour Bollinger Band here you can see that we're trading also in the lower area so here in theory we could drop easily towards $9,200 this is also more or less the target that I have in case of a breakout to the downside and in that case we would create another higher low which is bullish but of course the more we test this support here and week below the more likelier it is that we're gonna see finally a big breakout to the downside and if we go over to the daily time Time frame here also you can see that currently we are squeezing again between the 50 and 20 daily moving average so in my opinion latest latest till the 17th of June we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside towards our main resistance lines or a big sell-off here breaking the support also because we have the RSI right at the 50 here and the stochastic oversold so here in theory we should see a big bounce to the upside but we could also stay for a couple of days in oversold conditions before we're gonna see a big move to the upside because the RSI is right at the 50 and here we have a lot of fuel left to the downside but also to the upside and in case of a breakdown watch out for the 200 daily moving average at $8,200 but if we really go that low I think we will for sure test here the 0.382 fib line which also in the past acted as a support and resistance line so I think we will see $8,000 in case of a breakout here below the 50 daily moving average and also below our main support here and if you go over to the Bollinger Band here also you can see that we are trading in the lower area so also here it looks like that we are shifted to the downside and here easily also we could go towards 9k MACD shifted to the downside so also here in the daily it is more looking like that we could see a big waterfall maybe already this week also if the stock market is gonna take a big hit because here also in the S&P 500 we had the breakout to the downside and currently we are also struggling to trade again above the 20 daily moving average so far we are above the 200 daily and also right at the 50 level in the RSI so this week is gonna decide here on the S&P if we are gonna see a bounce to the upside or we are continuing to drop here towards here the next targets which is here between 2800 even down here to 2500 dollars so somewhere down here if we're gonna have a major crash here and this also could take Bitcoin down to 8k maybe even 6500 this is my targets also to rebuy back in and also to open longs from there and if we go over to the weekly time frame here also very important we are keeping up currently with the 15 20 weekly moving average so if we drop down there we should have very strong supports down here at these levels at around eight thousand five hundred dollar so even if we really drop down to those levels so at around 8k we should close the weekly candles always above the 20 weekly in order to be still shifted to the upside RSI is still above the 50 that is good stochastic is overbought let's see if we can cool off here a bit the stochastic would be better for the next big move to the upside and also if you go over to the Bollinger Band in the weekly here you can see that we're still trading in the upper area so on the weekly it is still looking very bullish only if here we would close a weekly candle below eight thousand five hundred dollar around this area here so then we would start to trade again here in the lower area and we could easily drop down again towards five thousand four hundred dollar so if that happens and also we're gonna have a bearish cross on the MACD and possibly also take the RSI below the 50 it is very likely that we're gonna see these price levels again and that's why you have to be ready also to buy back 
in if you plan to buy Bitcoin for these cheap prices here if we really drop down here towards 5400 because as I told you this could be really the last opportunity to buy really cheap Bitcoins and I think if we really drop below 6k this is gonna be maybe for a couple of minutes and not more because I still believe that we could be in a massive inverse head and shoulders pattern where we have this line here so this 10k still as a resistance and we already created here the left shoulder we have our head and possibly now we're gonna create the right shoulder which then also will take us towards our main resistance at that time it will be at around nine thousand dollar and then possibly we're gonna have this big breakout to the upside this is my scenario which i think will happen in case that we really gonna plunge again here towards these levels here and then recover back up this is only the plan if we really drop down here but of course it is also possible that we're just gonna start to trade sideways here and then slowly go out of this resistance area that we have coming down here at around nine thousand five hundred to ten thousand five hundred dollar and then have a big move to the upside that is also possible but this is what we have to see once we're gonna plunge here or we're gonna start to trade sideways here depending on the next couple of days and weeks then we will see what will happen and of course also we're gonna have the confirmation if we should look to open long after breaking here the resistance or is it better to wait till we're gonna see this drop here and then start to open our long positions and that's why you have to be ready for both scenarios so make sure that you have your account ready over on Bybit but also some fiat on the sideline that you can rebuy back in for a very cheap price because as I told you this could be really the last opportunity for a very long time to buy cheap bitcoins and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now remember if you need a bybit account or you are already member and signed up with my sign up link that you find down below here in the video description we have a hundred dollar bonus promotion right now if you put a deposit of at least 0.2 bitcoin on your wallet on bybit until the 20th of june you will get this 100 dollar extra automatically into your account within three days so make sure to claim this bonus if you already signed up with my link in the past or if you need a new account you find the link down below here for bybit you can get this 90 dollars for free extra that you anyway get plus this 100 dollar extra that bybit is offering right now exclusively if you use my sign up link and also if you need to open up more accounts or you want to trade gold for example you can do that over on femex if you use my sign up link you can get additionally 72 dollars for free and also on these two other exchanges prime xpt and bityard you can get some sign up bonus if you use my links if you also want to trade over on those exchanges and also down below here you find some other useful links how to claim some other free cryptos and also how you can earn some passive money and if you have any question just put it down here in the comment section or join our free discord trading chat everyone is welcome and is completely for free and I'm doing the live streams over on Twitch. So make sure also to join the Twitch channel if you want to see the live streams. So thank you very much for watching guys. If you like the content, you know what to do. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel. We do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. So thank you very much for watching and we see us all in the next one. Bye.